Hey, happy Friday. What's going on, everybody? Uh, got Henry in here. He said uh, he was like number one. I greatly appreciate that, Henry. Who is number two? Sound off. Who else do we have in here? And let's start the evening off right. Let's all have a sip. <laughs> mm. I'm right here, sweetheart. Oh, I have it on this other one, too. Hey, Henry. Uh, it doesn't look like it started. I don't know what's going on with that thing. Did you update that? Uh, well, we 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 still only have Henry chatting in here. Who else do we got to get it started? Um, well, it get it get started on the get started. Well, I'm saying I'm late, but I don't think I am. It's not started. Uh, hey Torp, it says I'm st I'm live. It's <laughs> Hold on. hey, that's Becky. Now you're live. Hey Henry. Hey Torp. Hey Becky. How you feeling, Becky? Here, tell this guy I'm not late. Well, oh, there he is. I don't know what happened. One, I it it, it I hit the live button and I was talking to air. <laughs> See? I got no idea. Maybe that's something to do with those I'm ads. Sorry. Oh no! You are you at least home, Becky? I hope Maybe. you're at least home. Hey, what's going on, David? <laughs> Good. At least you're home. That's <laughs> I. I tell you, that's a, I remember when Kim was at the hospital. That's the worst. I should have been my my trap channel nine and a half fingers. Nine and a half fingers. Why? Because you're always burning your fingers. Well, one thinks I'm going to cut myself, but I. Don't cut myself, I burn myself. You cut yourself that one time. Pretty good, too. Hey, Daniel. Hey, what, newbie. What's going on? What, you don't remember that? I thought you sliced the corner of your thumb. Pretty sure it was you. You sure I didn't do that cooking? It might have been. Oh, not crafting. Yeah, you definitely did it cooking. I'm just saying you've cut yourself before. Hey, hey what's, too, what's going on, too, babe? How you doing? <laughs> Nine and a half fingers. That's pretty funny. Nope, I guess my mic's still not working. Wow. Seriously? No. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's going on. Our, we're having a lot of technical difficulties lately. I don't know what's going on. I, I have to go into the, this new computer is a little funny. It's I, I loaded everything just like I did on the old one. And it, it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I got to go in and click on Howdy. something. It seems like uh, every time this computer resets, it goes back to factory settings. I have to go. I have to go in. All the cookies go away, so I have to re-log in to everything. So I don't know. You're pretty good, Daniel. How are you doing? Uh, what are you talking about? One tax refunds. <laughs> <laughs> the government got a tax refund from us. Yeah, Robin said, "What refund?" <laughs> <clears throat> Turlo's here. Yo, Turlo made it. What's happening, buddy? And if you, it is on. It is. Yeah, it is. It's blue, right? It's got yeah, a blue. blue yeah. There's something in there that I maybe I got to turn something else on, hon. I, I can't quite figure this computer out. I can yeah, move it. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> no refunds here. Yo, Tony. They like to take that. They like to take the money when you sell the house, don't they, Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I guess Jeff knows about that too. But that was last year. They got us again this year. Just I don't know. Yeah, I'm telling you, Robbie. Yeah, a couple years in a row, I've been having to hand them money. Not my favorite thing either. Oh, well, thanks, David. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate it, Steve. I'll tell you, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was, you know, Thursday. It was just at my, it was at my brother's work. They used to be federal mogul. Now they're protection systems. And they actually make like the sleeves. Like if you buy fuel line, the woven stuff on the outside of the fuel line, they make stuff like that. They make like, you know, the wire loom stuff that like uh, you expands and contracts. When you push in, it gets real big where you can put the wires in and then when it, it, it contracts, they make stuff like that. Um, my, I was telling them 
at the car show about uh, the problem I was having. I keep burning up a spark plug wire no matter what I do. And I bought those socks. My brother got me some uh, fire blanket sleeves. I'm going to try them. His boss is like, why don't you give him some of that fire blanket sleeve? <laughs> so I think my brother cut me up some pieces and he sent me a text today with a picture of them. So when they get here, I'll let you guys see that. They, they make all kinds of great products. Hey, mommy. <clears throat> And, and my brother works in the re research and development uh, part of the business. So. Oh, good, Tony, good. It's all good here, Mom. I hope it's good there, too. Yeah. And they had, uh, they had, they had a couple cool cars there, but, you know, they, and they said that they're going to mail me a plaque. <laughs> Kim said that my brother was going to steal it and put, <laughs> and put like a piece of masking tape over Brian and put Dan on there. <laughs> Because he's his car, he's got a couple of nice cars. He's got like a, I think it's a 16 or a 17 Challenger. He bought it brand new. It's the Hemi with the black on black on black, just like Phil's, except it was uh, like a, he bought like in six, I think 16 or seven, I think 16, but it might have been 17. He bought white. And he's got a, uh, he's got a, I think a, a C6 Corvette. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> me too too babe there's a, a lot of people had like the newer cars a lot of the employees brought their cars in like there was a brand new bronco and the ugly gray color? no it was beautiful that beautiful it's like a dark metallic green and it actually had an awning on the side yeah, it was just awesome. It was like uh, you pull the awning out. It's like a it had like a canvas awning attached to the side of it. It's really nice. There was a couple other really nice. There was a um, what's the name of that Porsche? It begins with a C. Um, yeah. No, it's Kai. I no, it was it was it was an all electric Porsche that was there as well. And the main reason they had to show uh, my brother's work sponsors these college kids that had an, an electric uh race car a little it's almost like a mini go-kart go they said it was going to go about 80 miles an hour they were waiting on batteries but my brother's work sponsored them and you know all the sleeves for the wiring and stuff like that i think one of the schools was drexel i don't know what the other one were but uh they were a bunch of smart kids Actually, he's been working on getting the shed so we can get the stuff put away so he has room to work in the garage. To yeah. Spray bomb. Yeah, I, I did a little bit spray bomb. I, I just messing around a little bit, but I'm gonna get the uh, like I said tomorrow. My son's coming over. We're gonna get the the shed the shed uh, done, and then I'm gonna jump back in. But and, first, but first, what before that? Oh, I have to take him. I have to take Kim. She said she's bribing me. She wants to go to this. Uh, it's like a, it's like a flea market. It's, it's basically, it's basically a uh, car like uh, what? What's that that we go to? Like the Carlisle. It's like the Carlisle for craft people. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a tailgate sale. It's like attic stuff. Why are you going? What are you going for? What's the purpose? For what? It's, it's for your it's for you to get stuff for your crafts no no she shed robbie this is for him to get his uh tractor and lawn stuff see off. she calls it mine that's not mine I don't, I don't have a tractor we have a tractor off, off of my gazebo you, you know kim i keep tripping over your vacuum cleaner that you didn't put away that's in front of the bathroom door i almost killed myself last night your vacuum if that's my <laughs> lawnmower because it should, does it belong there it's out of the bed. Oh my God! No, it isn't. It's right in front Please of the. Trinkets. It's more like people's junk. Yeah, it's people's junk. <laughs> we got enough junk, and we're gonna go buy some other people's junk. I'm like Fred Sanford. Someday I told my kid, someday this all will be yours. He looked around that garage. He was like, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't. I, I'm not a big. Uh, a yard sale guy. I guess I should look for tools and stuff like that, but. I don't really, I don't need anything in that regard. I need to get, I got enough stuff laying around here that I got to get done. And I am actually starting to feel a little bit better. That's why I said I was able to go out there for a couple hours 
Thursday, no, excuse me, Wednesday, I went out and worked in the shop for a couple hours. And th like Thursday, I was out of pocket all day. I was up there at my brother's work. So, and then we had today. Right, Henry? It's fun. See, Henry says Thurston and Junction is fun. <laughs> Two babe told me to watch out for Grady. <laughs> <laughs> Tony thinks we're funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm funny, Tony. I don't know about him. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. How can you pass out that 50 cent rent? BW Robbie wants to know. You really can't. My favorite is that the, over at the old dollar store, they used to have those India dollar wrenches. Now, they wouldn't hold up very well, but those were the kind of wrenches you could cut and make your own little special tools out of, you know, for a buck and a quarter. Hey, how about that, hon? You'd get a you'd get a, a little wrench set that you could, like, modify and Her do stuff to. Learn how to play guitar. You know, it. I learned a little bit one time, uh, Turlo. When my my son was about thirteen or fourteen, I got him a guitar and I bought the book and all. And while he was playing his video games, I sat there and I taught myself all the notes. And I could play "Amazing Grace." <laughs> I don't. I don't think I could do it right now, but if I had a couple of days to practice, I bet I could. That's right, Henry. That's why you go to find stuff you didn't know you needed. Well, there you go. Well, Henry, Henry, Henry likes a lot of that uh, craft stuff or the uh, yard it's sales and stuff. Thrifting. 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 Okay. Well, he likes thrifting too. He always has a lot of thrift stuff on Facebook. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I got a 50% of a half inch, nine sixteenths. Yep. To take doors off. Absolutely. That's what I said. Junky tools are sometimes the best tools because you can do stuff to them. You know, you don't see people cutting the end off of a snap on wrench, but you do on like the little India wrenches and stuff, whatever it takes to get the job done. That's right, Jim. It's Miller time. That's right. We, 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 we operate under the high life around here. And every time we show the little guy, take a sip, join the party. That's pretty cool, Charlie, teaching himself how to play the guitar. Yeah, it is. That's 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 pretty awesome. Hey, Frank's Garage. I just made a cup of coffee. What yeah, you you're going to be up all night. She says it. Oh, it's decaf. But somebody in here last week said there's no such thing hey, as decaf. For dead? Yo, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Uh. You, you, you're somebody in here like two weeks ago who said that there was it one somebody said that there was uh, no such thing as decaffeinated coffee and kim took a nap today i slid out to go down to the garage to talk to my buddies for a little bit and uh kim was napping that's cool abby they have a place called the jockey lot so when you open on weekends and they have all kinds of that sounds like the place in delaware but the place in delaware has mostly like you know jeans for ten dollars or whatever yeah hey don yo don mark's here no it's the uh keurig giant it's the local supermarket brand keurig coffee yeah decaf whiskey and cranberry juice you have to try that brian well i i'm gonna have to try that i i don't know if i, I couldn't find i thought i had whiskey around here somewhere i know there's crown royal downstairs but I don't know about, uh, I had some uh, Woodford Reserve, and I, I don't know where that, where that went to. Not me, Frank. I would be wired. I, I think, would be wired off of this coffee. I think you used that. She used my high-end whiskey to make uh, that whiskey cake for Uncle Bob that time. No, well, you got a whole bunch of whiskey from Uncle Bob. So. Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't Woodford Reserve. I didn't use your Woodford Reserve, Brian. Oh, I thought you did. She, she's mad. Did you see the way she snootily said it? I playfully said it, and she got real. Me, me, me. Hey, PPSS. Yo, what's going on, man? What's happening? <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> what did he say? I'd be afraid to buy some jeans out there. <laughs> You never know. It's like some, some like my buddy Jamie. He'll go there to buy work pants. Well, you don't have to no more because they give us uniforms, but. Back in the day, you know, looking for a deal on work clothes. 
Yeah, I can't go right to sleep. I'll probably be up for a while. I mean, Booth's Corner has a couple places like that, but their prices have creeped way up. Booth's Corner is more like food now. Well, there's still like the hobby guy downstairs, but he wants an arm and a leg for everything. Like that that uh, plate I got off of him for the for the uh, fifty five truck that I got out there in the, in the shop. <clears throat> he charged us like twenty bucks for that thing. I don't know, Steve. There might be something going on, but I'm spoiled now. If it's not indoors, do I really want to go? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was nice, though, being inside. I haven't heard from the last guy at all. No, I don't know what happened to him. Um, I, I may attempt, listen, I may attempt to put the back glass, take the back glass out and put it back in with the uh, gasket material myself. I mean, I watched him do it. I think I can do it. It's just that one side is a little, it's still a little funky over there. And he fought, fought that one side a little bit and, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not like overly concerned. It's not something I have to do right away. The one, the one, the one thing I'd like to get done is get the dent in that door I messed up fixed. <laughs> hey, out of order. Out of order is that a car show? Yeah. There's a million car shows down that way. I mean, it's it's still kind of early around here. There's nothing. There's not. There's some stuff creeping up and popping up, but. It's not not a ton of stuff. Steve has one Sunday afternoon. Well, hopefully the weather holds up for you, Steve. Yeah, it's been kind of rainy. Over here, yeah, it's been... It was spritzing the whole way home when I was driving the gas or home. And it wasn't... I mean, I don't have windshield wipers in there. It was just a little mist on the windshield. It wasn't terrible, but if it had started raining much harder, I'd have had to pull over. And I don't have door glass yet. <laughs> I bought the door glass. It's here. I just haven't put it in. Oh, I, Twerk had snow last night. I saw on Shopcat's channel that he came outside and he had snow on his car. Yeah, oh, they're still getting snow up there. Mm. I guess do you guys get it right into May, like up up that way. I I, I seem like up right up into May. They have a very short summer. It's getting snow. Frank's getting snow too. It's snowing for the second day. It's not sticking though. Hey, outboard tinkerer. I read that. I read that somewhere. One I did. I, I I mentioned that to my brother. I was like, you know, I really should put some rain X. I just don't want to put a lot of effort into the windshield because it's cracked and I have to change it. <laughs> but I guess it wouldn't be too bad to put a little bit of rain X on there. Evie's been getting rain. Robbie had eighty-five degrees today. Oh, look, Jim, he, they still get ice storms in May. Where, where are you at, Jim? <clears throat> yeah, so hopefully uh, it's supposed to rain overnight, but it's supposed to stop by 8. 8 o'clock? Well, hopefully. <laughs> Yo, outboard, what's going on, Gene? How you doing, man? Or Glenn? Sorry. <laughs> Chad's channel. Who did? Glenn. Oh, Glenn. Yeah, I, I love going over there. There's some really nice people in the chat, too. David's in there a lot. Um, I don't know who else did I see. Do I ever do I see anybody, any other guys going? I always, I, I, I love that uh, show. Kim, Kim gets mad because I play it too loud sometimes, so I have to put my, my, ear, my ear muffs on. Because <laughs> one guy will be talking and the other guy's drilling and all, so I have to, I have to put my my private listening things on down there and for two babe and PPS that's all and Robbie Jim's in South Dakota Rapid City cool is that by uh, Tony G how, how close is that to you Tony's in uh, Sturgis Tony G's in Sturgis is that close to Sturgis Yeah, there you go. Tony's telling him he's in start. There you go. <laughs> oh, you know, Heller, Alberta. I, I come back from the um, 
hanging out with my buddies and I was just going through the, you know, uh, reels on Facebook. I think it was, I think it might've been on YouTube. I can't remember cause I watch them all, but, uh, uh, vice grip garage dropped a sweatshirt off in Pottstown today. That's right where the car show was yesterday. And he said, there's a Napa across the street and there's a car wash. And he took, he had a two X sweatshirt. He took it off and threw it in the bushes. And he's like, whoever gets it, gets it. And it was like, it was like a two hour old video. And he had broken there. Somebody told me they got it. <laughs> I was thinking about driving up there, but it would, it would have been gone by the time I got there. <laughs> he's always leaving stuff places and telling people, leaving them clues where it's at. <laughs> One found a, a good deal for Tony G. Did Pudding get it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It Pottstown, PA. So, like I say, that that's right around the corner from where I was uh, Thursday with the gasser. That was yesterday. Yesterday, excuse me, Thursday. Yes, yesterday. Well, honey, I, you know, I thought today was Saturday because we were having lunch together and we weren't at work. You know. It takes me a minute sometimes. Yeah. Really? Hmm. You guys see how she talks to me sometimes? That's nice to you. I just put you were nice here. to me most of the day. Well, most of the day I took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you were sleeping. You, she was sleeping most of the day. We were together from... Well, I took the dog and then came home and then I was with you. Yeah, it seems that way anymore, don't it too, babe? I, I always have something to do. It's like, I'm getting ready to get back on track with my stuff. I have been lackadaisical on that, but I've had so much other stuff going on. I got the driveway coated. I got the the flower beds mulched. I got, I'm trying to get everything done so that I don't. All I have to do is cut the grass and work on my stuff all summer. One was an overdue number for a crisis hotline. For, for what kind of crisis? Because I'm mean to you. Nah, I'll be all right. I'll survive. I'm trying to push the computer closer so that Kim gets picked up on the microphone better. Maybe that'll maybe that'll work because this this mic maybe I might have to get a different microphone or reread them directions and maybe you can look on here and see if you can figure it out, huh? EPSS has the grandkids spending the night. That's fun. <laughs> Robbie said I'm keeping you muff, muffled on purpose, hon. Probably. That's not true. <laughs> You're gonna have to speak a little louder, and I put the computer a little closer to her. Hopefully, that solves it for at least this week. You go to babe. You're family law mowers. Regular job. That's pretty cool. That's right. I was thinking about that too, babe. Wedding season is coming up. What can you make stuff for that? No, he went to like how many weddings last year? Oh, that's true, yeah. Hey, Zeus. Yo, hey, Zeus. What's going on, man? Hey, Zeus has been hitting a couple uh, car shows. I saw he had his he had his S10 at a car show last uh, last weekend. I saw it on Facebook. Mm. Nice white pajamas, by the way. See, it must be a Kim thing because <laughs> his wife's name's Kim too. Yo, Floyd made it. What's going hey, on? Floyd. How you doing, Floyd? <laughs> That's funny. All right, have a good time working on them brake lines, Hubie. Get it done. Get her done. <laughs> Get her done, Betty. Oh, race was canceled today. That's a bummer. <laughs> Jim says I'm gonna run him out of whiskey. Nice and he's slow and steady, especially with you know a sweet drink like that. I bet that's a nice sweet taste, uh, cranberry. And I have cranberry. I've been drinking uh, zero zero sugar cranberry juice. Been on a kick for a while drinking that stuff. 
Great Klein seemed to be the job of the day. I'm lucky. I got my buddy Kevin to help me with that kind of stuff. He's got that tool. There you go. One said Jewish sugar is worse than sugar. Is it? That's what he said. Well, I have to look into it. I mean, I, you know, I, you try everything. It's like I'm not allowed to drink or eat anything. I mean, <laughs> if it says zero sugar, I'm, I'm taking the manufacturer's word that it's not uh, sweet. Are you going to try facts? Well, Steve wants to know where we're going, but I probably will not go because somebody's got to be here for the golf. I, you know. I'm going to think about it. I might have to ask my brother. If, 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 I, if I come, I'll probably have to bring somebody with me, my brother. And I'll probably have to sleep in my car because I, I, I'm so afraid somebody's going to steal my car. <laughs> As I tell Kim, that's my greatest fear. I just happened to that guy with a Studebaker last weekend. Gorney sent me the link, and I went over and looked at it. It's that, uh, yeah, I showed you guys last week. He lost his truck, his trailer, his, his, his race car, everything. Taz was probably out riding his motorcycle somewhere once. That would be my guess. Or he's down at the club. Possibly. You don't see skinny people they drinking diet drinks. <laughs> I, I, I'm, thin, I'm thin as a rail, man. I lost a lot of weight, too. Cranberry with cranberry. I don't think they make cranberry and zero sugar. I don't know. I'll have to look and see, Robbie. I mean, I'd, I'd try it. I know I like, I used to like cranberry mixed with the grape. Yeah, Peach Pen does a great job of securing the cars, the trailers, and the trucks. Okay. Now, do you leave your car at the beach bend and go to the hotels i was thinking about camping it and 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 bringing my car to the campsite or is that not I, I don't know what it's like there i mean if i go i was thinking about getting a little little pool behind trailer and driving the gas or with a pool behind trailer. Yes, camps. okay ocean spray yeah but you can't have all that sugar Robbie. so he needs to find it like zero sugar so but i would cran cherry sounds good Oh, we'll have to look into it. I'll look on. I'll look on there later. Dragon drive. Yeah, I mean, let, let me bring this to you guys in, into a different light with with the gasser. And this is not. It was really rich driving, and I'm not sure if it's timing or if it's fuel air mixture. But it didn't stink like this last year. So it could be, you know, the fuel line maybe is starting to dissipate and it's putting crap in the carburetor. It could be the timing's a little bit off. I could, like I said, I might have took a spark plug wire out. I got to tilt it up and look in there maybe maybe after I get the shed done this weekend and, and see what's going on. But here's the bottom line. I filled my fuel cell all the way up to the top. <laughs> and... and uh, I, I drove to my brother's work, was 22 miles away. And my brother, because my brother knows I ran out of gas last year. So he was like, well, he goes, how much gas do you think he used? I said, that's a good question. We opened a fuel cell and it was right at half a tank. And that's 16 gallons, I think that fuel cell holds. So I used almost eight gallons of gas going 22 miles. That's about what? Maybe tw maybe it was 24 miles. It, it, we figured it out at my buddy's garage. I'm right around four, and I did not hot rod at all. I'm Right now, it's at four miles a gallon, pretty close. How much do you think it would cost me to drive that to, 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 to Kentucky? <laughs> I could pull it with my truck a lot cheaper, and I may have to consider doing that if I come. Jim wants to know how does it idle? And Frank wants to know what carb are you running? Um, I think it's a demon um, carburetor. And it seemed like it was idling okay. And it has been starting right up. I mean, you know, 
I, I hit the gas pedal three times and the last time I give it a good hit and the choke sticks and it starts right up. And, but it, it, do, it did seem like it was, it, it doesn't sound quite the same. I'm, I'm betting I lost the spark plug wire, but I'm not sure. Don says that doesn't sound right because you can't make it 10 miles down. Yeah. And Al Bartinger wants to know what gears do you have? I got 456s. 456 gears. Yeah, something's off, Don. I, I think I'm dumping. I, I'll check the <laughs> I'll check the oil. I checked the oil before I left. I did not check it when I got home. Torque said it's called smiles per gallon, not miles per gallon. I get it. <laughs> I really do. And it's a blast. But I uh, if you know, there's 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 a limit, you know. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around and figure out what's going on there. And I should and like Don said, I should be around eight. I mean, I feel like I should be around eight. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's nothing crazy. I mean, it's you know, it's a four sixty eight, it four fifty four punched over a little bit, and it it, it, it you know, five hundred horsepower. It is a big carburetor, so I mean, what the CFM is on it, I don't know. I think it's over a thousand. I'm guessing. I mean, I didn't buy it. It was on the motor when I bought it. <laughs> all, I, all I did was hand it to the to the to the uh, engine guy down the road and here, make this work good. <laughs> See, there you go. Steve says he's getting about four with his four fifty sixes. And I'll tell you, you know, like people want you to light up the tires on that thing. It's on the street. It's really hard to do with three fifteens. I mean, on on the track, if I if I had a little bit of juice, I could probably get it to light up pretty good. But they're pretty pretty big tires, and it's a pretty tall gear. It's not the easiest thing to get them to start turning. Hey, does it red? <laughs> Too low, carb too big. That's what Robbie says. Okay. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn put 308s in his. Yeah, you know that would that would solve a lot of the lot of the fuel fuel economy problems. But then everybody would push me around at the racetrack. You're two minutes past. Oh, I'm a little past. Kim's going to draw up the number. Um, I, I had to see the Billy <laughs> They did. They had a two-hitter. All right. All right. Kim got the number. Now, you guys might be interested this week. I got I got the sticker, and I got the old truck sticker. We're trying to get rid of those. But I also bought a pack of these to take to my brother's car show, a re refrigerator not mag yet, yet. Refrigerator magnets that I – talks too much. Just go. Go. We'll talk about it afterwards. <laughs> One and fifty, one and fifty go. Go do 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 a new magnet, right, Brian? Yeah, the new magnet. Nobody has this yet. Oh, they're coming in heavy now, hon. You gotta really help me. You're probably ahead of me. Wow, there's a lot of numbers in. There it is, Robbie Altry. Robbie Altry. Robbie Altry, number thirty-nine. <laughs> Robbie's the first one to get the refrigerator sticker. You guys can see number thirty-nine. Yeah, so this is like a three by three. It's brand new. Well, we the the little car inside my buddy drew that for me a couple of years ago, but all the other stuff is a new design. We just played around with a couple of different apps until we came up with this, just to have something a little bit different. <laughs> so there you go. Congratulations, Robbie. Got the regular oh, stickers and the new magnet. You had 38 real early. Jim had 38 real early, and then they were all in the 30s. Hey, Kenny Peterson made it. Hey, Kenny. How you doing, buddy? BBK's here, too. Yo, what's going on, Gordy? Well, we got to have a sip. We got our, a couple new people come in. Everybody take a sip. Mm. Uh-oh, here it comes. Hey, 
Oh boy, that took a minute. Big night. Four minutes. We're, we're four minutes behind now on the clock. Yep. One sec. Have you heard of seeing the newest trend in hot rodding? Dropping the car three quarter to two inches lower than the typical stand so they can put on a thinner tire because of the cost of tires are so crazy stupid. I've, I mean, everybody's been dropping cars, but I didn't know they were doing that. I mean, I could tell you right now, the only reason I haven't bought my other Mickey Thompson tire yet to put on those new rims I got downstairs in the basement is because they're too expensive. Thanks, David. He loves our clock. Oh, I appreciate it, man. That was my grandma's. Yeah, it was, uh, that was Kim's grandmother. Oop, there you go. There it is. QB said, I mean, Henry said QB called it one time. Um, three times in Korean Wow. There you go. I think we've just about called every number. Have we called every number? Is, is there any numbers left that haven't come out, Henry? I wonder. I have to show you guys the one we got in the basement sometime. We got one that's from set it's from the 1780s. Tinker is as daily driver. See, that's pretty cool. You know, if I was going to daily drive one, I would probably want an LS in it. Yeah, uh, uh, it doesn't have to be a, a five three or or a four. What are they? A four eight would be fine it, to daily drive to daily drive one. I'd want an LS if just because of the dependability. Well, yeah, it went from my grandma to my uncle, and then I got. It. Two days thought you won Martinsville because the clock is the trophy. Wow. Some haven't come up yet, Henry said. Okay. David wants to see the clock. All righty. I don't know. I might be behind you, so you, this might be all over. There um, you go. I don't know how old the clock is. I'll have to look it up. He had it all like. He was an antique collector. Yeah, Uncle Bob was an antique collector. That's why we got that real nice clock downstairs we got from Uncle Bob, too. And it's, We thought it was pre-centennial. But the guy that looked at it, he tried to buy it from us. So I think he might have been a little off, too. But he said it was from the 1780s. And he lowballed Kim, and Kim said, no, thank you. We'll just keep it. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Bob was a pretty cool cat, man. He had some, he had some really cool stuff. Wow, that's a shame, Frank. His grandfather built clocks, but he never saw one he made. And when he, before he passed, he cleaned out the family cleaned out the workshop and burned everything. Man, yeah, that is torture. I agree with you, Don. That that messed me up a little bit. No, I'm not. Thanks, not Robbie. Doing anymore? I don't know. I don't yeah. know what my car is now. I don't have one right now. What do you mean? One asked if I was still Bronco too in it. Ah, yeah. She just, got, she just, she, Thanks, she, Bobby. Kim, Kim's done for a little while. You know, I'm going to work on a Nova. That is hers, but she just got a brand new Subaru. So she's done for, okay. she likes her little Subaru. So she's done for a little bit. I got a car to work on. She'll get it hot rotted around when I'm, when I get it at least on back on tires. Yeah, the old stuff is cool, uh, Don. I like learning about old stuff, too. That's why one of the favorite things I like about your channel, I always learn a little something over there. <laughs> something I didn't know, you know? What belongs on it? Because I have no idea what belongs on my car. I know I put what I like on my car, you know? But it's like, I, I wonder sometimes, what was here, what was there? What was this hole really for? You know, stuff like that. I find that stuff out over on your channel. <laughs> History was my best subject. That in English. In and, school. Well, you're really good with that kind of stuff. History's subjective, you know. It's like you're, you're looking at it at, 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 at it's like at different angles it's like <clears throat> henry keeps track of the numbers desert rat 
<laughs> Henry's our uh, our uh, historian, BW Garage historian. Well, what happened to the clock, too, babe? Did you ever end up getting it, or did she end up selling it? Is that is that BW still for sale? One, nobody wants that bubblegum VW. Bubblegum pink VW. <laughs> Probably got bed bugs in the shag carpet. Too big. I am not. Math is not my forte. I used to think I was good at math, and then I had some of the more advanced math classes, and I was below average. Put me back in the other math class. <laughs> UB's buddy has a 57 daily driver and they have nine tri fives in the family. Wow. Tom asked you if your car, if your 55 was built in Terrytown. Did you see that? Was your 55 built in Terrytown? I have no idea. I, I mean, he was asking you. Anyway. I, I can get the, I can get the VIN number off of it. Can, can we tell from the VIN number? Uh, Don, I don't know. The 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 uh, identification plate that's on the firewall, it, it, it was sandblasted and it was riveted back on by the previous owner. Can I trust that? It, it you know, and then the title said it was it was it was gold, but everything I looked at on the car said it was turquoise. I think what he did was when he had the car titled when he was in Jersey, it was he was planning to paint it gold. That was my perception of it. Oh, that sucks, too, babe. Sold a lot of the stuff before they went through probate. Yeah, that that, that stinks, man. Steve was built in Kansas City. See, Don's been trying to find out more about the body number. Right. I'm cooking his brain reading them. <laughs> <laughs> they did, Jim. And the, the one downstairs, it's pretty intricate. And it has like a, it's a pendulum turns like this back and forth. And it works. It, we actually was working pretty good for a while. And then I don't know if I overwound it or what. I don't want to mess with it. But it, it seemed like it kept stopping. So I didn't want to mess with it anymore. I could probably go down and wind it up. It's got a beautiful charm to it whenever it uh, dings. It's a really nice, it's really nice. The, the face plate has been, re uh, it's been repaired. It's almost like tissue paper. It's very, very light. And you can see where somebody made a repair to it. The, the clock guy was showing us all the, all the, all the history of the clock and where it, had, where it had been repaired and all that stuff. Yeah. So John said, "Yep, it'll be something like VD fifty five. The fifth digit will be the plant." Okay, I uh, will look. The title's back there in Uncle Bob's in that big folder. If you want to go get it. The Flyers folder. The Flyers are out of the playoffs. Oh, I... Okay. Well, you said in the Flyers folder, that reminded me that the Flyers are out of the playoffs. Oh, okay. Pendulum swing like pendulum do. <laughs> <laughs> Will you get me my other beer out of there, dear, please? Thank you. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I know that is that is pretty crazy that Alport's had his for so long. I told Kim, I said, "What if I sold mine?" She says, "You're not selling that car. You'll die with it." That's what she told me. I said, "Okay, I can do that." <laughs> I could I couldn't sell that car. I, I got too much in it. I, I, not money wise, just too much emotions in that thing.
Because I never hear the end of it if you sold it. I'm uh, the sold it. I know. Sold it. Well, that's true. That's good that you have the flag, too, babe. It's it's possible, uh, Don. It, it's definitely possible. There's some history though in that car. I would love to know. It's like why was there a hole put in the middle of the of the roof, or and and why and why was there those holes in the front where it looked like a visor might have been or something? And there's just there was just different things on that car that just made me wonder what it was. Oh, tour. Torp said he told his wife he'd be buried in this car, but then he sold it. Ugh. I I do, Hubie. I do know. I do know where everything is on that car. <laughs> I do have to crawl around. I heard something rattling around on the on the uh, passenger side. I think I got to do a better job mounting my exhaust since I changed the exhaust. I just don't like the way I got it hung up. So that'll be a future job I got to do too. Don has found. Number seven, 1955 Nomad. He found the seventh one built. Wow. There's one, there's one um, on Facebook Marketplace right now. The guy's selling it for 18 grand. He got it off that guy, that Rusty Gordon guy. And uh, I think he's going to buy it back. It's a 55. PDK got the tunnel ram working on his brother's 48. I saw that. I saw that on Instagram. And I saw it on, um, he had a video of it on, on YouTube as well, hon. <clears throat> February of 55. See, Don knows all kinds of tidbits on it. The Nomad 55. February 1st. To me, they're the best ones, the 55s, but I don't know. Jay's 57 is really nice. That's got to be one of the, the, the nicest unmolested nomads in existence is the one he has. And it's never, it's got the original paint. There's no rust. It's, it's gold. It, the gold one, I think I showed it last year on here. It's just, the, it's a flawless car that's never been restored. That was my uncle, outboard tinker. I got everything. Yep, yep. Uncle Bob was Kim's uncle. She left. She left Kim everything, or he left Kim everything. His outboard tinkers needs to get put off. That's cool. <laughs> Plywood floors. That's oh crazy. man! <laughs> Bills to Kim. Well, you know, at one time I thought it would be worth a lot more than we actually got for it, Robbie. What's that? The stuff in my uncle's house. Yeah, I mean, it was like everything, like the antique furniture. Is like if it was at the peak of the when it was going real high. <laughs> it's going real high right now. Yeah, but it was it was like. The, the 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 china he had he had thousands that's not an exaggeration he had thousands of pieces of china he had bowls that he paid over a thousand dollars for one bowl and kim was lucky to get what like 300 bucks if she was lucky and there was so much that the auctioneer had to spread it out over three auctions so as not to flood the market kim kept a couple pieces that uh what's that uh, English stuff, huh? Wedgwood. She has a couple pieces of Wedgwood here that she liked the color of so much she kept certain pieces. But uh, and then the nieces, they all kept a, a couple pieces of the Wedgwood stuff. And uh, I think Carol kept the black, right? She kept the black and the gray color. Yeah, and Kim kept the green. Well, they, they, there was so much of the light blue that she just let most of that go to the auction house. It was a bunch of bunch of stuff. The movie used cars. He buried the car lot owner in his '57 Chevy. Yeah, the, the Kim, you did well with the coin collection. I mean, that you did well with. Mm.
That is cool, too, babe. <clears throat> it is. It's just stuck. Tony will remember when we when we have the uh, Friday night down in the basement, the Arrowhead collection that was on the wall. That's from Uncle Bob. <laughs> Uncle Bob had a lot of a lot of different interests. It is just stuff, though. It is, yeah, but it's cool stuff. It is some of it's cool. And I'm going to buy somebody's cool junk tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, they have. Hopefully, it's not a madhouse like it was. Remember, I couldn't even park, and that guy was yelling at me. You can't. Well, Land post lanes right there, so we'll just park them there. All right. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Take a sip to Uncle Bob. Beads and trinkets. Well, I'm hoping to find some like, cool wood pieces, maybe some cool, cool wood bowls. All right. Take it easy, too, babe. Have a good night, man. Have a good week. He made it. What's going on, Super Superbad? All right, man. Thanks, too, babe. He was cool. He was cool. Uncle Bob was a cool dude. I'm trying to see what Don's saying about Hubie's body number seven. Nomad was built. January 13th of 1956. So six down had to be built early possible, late 54. All right. He believes the first nomad was glacier blue with a white top. All right. And you can tell all this from the VIN number without the uh, body tag that's on the uh, firewall, Don. Every, everything on the VIN number signifies the, the colors and all that stuff. I think David's had too much to drink. <laughs> <laughs> you too, David. Have a good one, brother, and I'll see you next week. He said, one said, DW, you never know. You should look. Maybe you'll find the garlics. <laughs> he would have already had that one if he had just listened to me and did the stuff at the auction. You know, I would have. Yeah, you would have. I would have. I would have. We should have. We were in a lot more of the lots than we won. And the only reason we didn't win more is because I told Kim that's enough. But I didn't. If I just saw that Don Garlitz in that box, I'd have, I'd have been like, I should I should have just said, just get the mystery box. Because that's what they called it, the mystery box. And it had like, um, like you know, like the tissue box in an OEM Hi, David. Take it easy, David. An OEM uh, tissue holder for for the 55, 56, 57. It was like a dealership item, and it was in the box. You could see that, and I really wanted that. And it held, you know, facial tissue. And it was in that box underneath everything. You would think they had a box of tax, and that went for a 1000 bucks. But they had a whole box of tax. And you think it would have been in there. So, cause I did kind of like look through every angle of the picture. There was no sh seeing it live. You had to look at the pictures. But I, that haunts me to this day. But we got one. I got one. <laughs> so, and you helped me get it one. You found it. Yeah, BBK, they're both really smart about that kind of stuff, about the history and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, BBK. If it wasn't for Google, I wouldn't know anything. I, I just, I, I pick up what I can. It's like I listen and I read. And sometimes, you know, some of the stuff you read, you find out later that that wasn't quite accurate. You know, a lot of people make mistakes. I know a lot. I know a whole, I'm, I know a little about a whole lot. You know a little about a whole lot. You do. You have Kim has a lot of random knowledge. She'll sit there and spit off all the answers to Jeopardy. But ask her what we had for dinner two weeks ago. She'd be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> "How did you cook that? I don't remember." 
I'm like, I just, she needs to start. Don't measure anything. I know, but it's like sometimes you should start writing stuff down because when you make something really good and I ask you to make it again, you're like, I got to remember how I did it. One wants to know if you checked two quick Novus tire shines that he sent to you. I did. And I was going to respond to you and I got sidetracked. Um, that hatch guy uh, that, that, that did that video uh, that Nova build he did online, mm -hmm. he actually has a video out about that. And he discovered that in a stock wheel well, the best offset, and you have to get it custom made. And he gave the name of the place that, that made his for him. Five and one quarter backspace mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. absolute perfect backspacing for a 275 6015 on a stock Nova. There's Chaz one. Without any modifications. I was just thinking that, Robbie. But here's the here's the here's the catch for me, one. That's not the stock rear end in that Nova. So it's screwing me up already. The, the, the shocks are in there like this, and they're in the way of the tires. They've got to be moved in. That that rears out of a Camaro of some sort. So I may have to narrow that a little bit. I'm not sure yet. I might have to narrow that rear end a little bit or get a, or get a rear end built for a stock uh, 70 Nova and just keep that rear for something else. We'll see. One was looking for you, Chaz. What's that? Chaz came in. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? One was looking yeah, for you. Yeah, one was looking for you about a half hour ago. We said you were probably out riding your bike. <laughs> Or Kim said that with a club. Um, club. Yeah, down at the club. Or he could have been in his garage. Or he could be working on that uh, Suburban getting ready for the road trip. Mm. <laughs> right, Henry? I just throw stuff together. And if it comes out, it comes out. And he, he likes it, it's positive. If it doesn't like it, well, he knows where the stove is. Yeah, I like everything Kim makes. You know, Robbie, I wouldn't mind putting a nine inch in there, but it's I have that one out back, so we'll see. If it, uh, I could just drop that, I don't. I'd have to call Alan because he 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 built my last rear, and and I don't I don't know if he if he messes with uh, twelve bolts and ten bolts or not. But he I know I mean he does eight and nine inch rears, but he he might he might do it eight. A, a, I think that's a 10 bolt. Hi, Tony G. Take it easy, Tony. Thanks for coming in, man. So he might, you know, I, I I'll call him up and see what he says when I get when I get to that point. Lone Star Roundup in Austin this weekend. That's pretty cool. Uh oh, you got a guy retiring from the VFW. <laughs> Take a sip at the VFW for us then, Chaz. Well, I don't know. What? Henry said that's how good recipes get lost forever. It is. You need to start writing some of your stuff down. Don't look at me like that and roll your eyeballs either. Well, I don't like writing stuff down because I mean, if it doesn't turn out good, then I wasted all that time writing it down. Bye, Steve. Take it Bye, easy, Steve. buddy. I appreciate you, Steve. Oh, Take care, Steve. Floyd. Have a good weekend, man. Oh my goodness, it is running down there to the last minute. Take it easy, Mark. Super. <laughs> <laughs> One said he, he would come down and he'd help you build it in a week. What, the, 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 v, the VW? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much. You know what the problem is with the, VF, with the VWs around here? The the uh, what do they call the heater boxes are just rotted out around here, man. There's Bye, nothing Dan. left. Bye, Don. Take it easy, Don. Everybody have, have a good, good weekend. Time at your car show out of order. Yeah, have have fun down there. And Steve too. Steve said he's going oh, to yeah. one Sunday. 
We're going to be working out our, around the house and on the homestead this weekend, I think. Bye, Robbie. Uh, <laughs> Kim's like, you got to wrap it. I got like, wrap it up. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm not staring. I'm reading everybody's comments and stuff, honey. I can, I'm not as smart That's as you. That's a good idea, Henry. What's that? It said, film yourself when you cook and just speak out the measurements. See? You should have had a cooking show. You know that? Maybe you can still make a cooking show on top of everything I else. I have an eating show. I don't want a cooking show. <laughs> an eating show. Hey, man, everybody have a good weekend. <laughs> we'll see you all next Friday. Take care, everybody. Bye.